country superstars far and wide are coming together next month for a special once-in-a-lifetime concert honoring the life and legacy of the late Toby Keith. On Wednesday, June 26, Live Nation announced a charity benefit show featuring Luke Bryan, Carrie Underwood, Jelly Roll, Lainey Wilson, Eric Church, Ashley McBride, Parker McCollum, Darius Rucker, The War and Treaty and more, who will gather at Nashville's Bridgestone Arena on Monday July 29 in celebration of Keith, who died of stomach cancer on February 5 at age 62. The packed concert, billed as Toby Keith, American icon, will also air on NBC on Wednesday August 28, via a two-hour tribute special. Tickets for the live event go on sale this Friday June 28, at 10 a.m. CT. A portion of sales will go toward the Toby Keith Foundation's OK Kids Chorale, a cost-free home for families of children dealing with critical illnesses, and Monroe Carell Jr. Children's Hospital at Vanderbilt. Keith's death, caused by stomach cancer, was announced on social media on February 6 with a message that read, Toby Keith passed peacefully last night on February 5th surrounded by his family. He fought his fight with grace and courage. The statement added, please respect the privacy of his family at this time. The Red Solo Cup crooner publicly shared his fatal diagnosis in June 2022, writing on Instagram, last fall I was diagnosed with stomach cancer. I've spent the last six months receiving chemo, radiation and surgery. So far, so good. I need time to breathe, recover and relax. Keith continued saying he was looking forward to spending this time with my family and added, I will see the fans sooner than later. I can't wait. He signed the candid message, T. Shortly after his death, Elaine Shock, Toby's rep and longtime friend, gave a touching statement to people, looking back on the country singer's accomplished life. I loved Toby Keith, she shared. He was brilliant, fun to be with and we would have some robust discussions. Plus, he could write and sing his ass off. Toby was kind. I think he was misunderstood because he was painted a certain way but that was an incorrect portrait, she continued. He was so much more. He was certainly one of the most courageous men I knew. Shock concluded, I'm not quite sure how to maneuver in a world without Toby yet. I hate the thought of it. Keith reflected on his genre-defining career during his final People interview in September 2023, declaring, it's pretty magnificent. Just seeing how enormous the career I amassed over 30 years when they show the video, he added at the People's Choice Country Awards. You know where you were when you wrote all those songs, you hear those numbers and you're just like, you looked up one day and all of a sudden 30 years went by.